So you just got your new Mustang and you are super excited to put your first appearance modification on your car. Or you've been having your Mustang and you are simply wanting to start modding your car. You want your Mustang to be the baddest car on the street, breaking necks daily. I mean, who doesn't want that? Modding your car can be confusing and difficult at first if you do not know what you're doing. Well, don't you worry, you came to the right place. Let me help you make your dream come true. Warning, modifying your Mustang can lead to a serious addiction. This addiction includes breaking your bank on Mustang parts, the desire to grab your next aftermarket part when you just got one, as well as concerns from family members, wives, girlfriends, because they think that there's more to life than just your Mustang. So be careful, proceed to this video with caution. What's up everybody, my name is Nate Ryder and I have Sally right behind me and today we're gonna to be talking about appearance mods. So I've had Sally for over two years and as soon as I grabbed her, I wanted to start customizing her. Ever since I was little, I always dreamt of what my perfect car would look like and I wanted to get started as soon as possible to make her look so beautiful. I know you are thinking the same way. I wanna start modding my car, but I do not know where to start. Don't you worry, I will guide you through the steps you need to take in order to make your build the most beautiful thing on this planet. So let's get started. Let me walk you through the must-have appearance mods on all Mustangs in order to get you started running off on the right track. To let you guys know where I get all of my Mustang parts as well as all of the parts I'll be mentioning in this video, make sure you go check out AmericanMuscle.com. They are the biggest aftermarket Mustang company around town and I love them so much. Uh, I will be putting down the link in the description if you want to go check that out as well as a coupon code for your next purchase so enjoy that and enjoy the rest of the video so the first thing we're gonna have to do to your Mustang to make it look sick is get rid of that front license plate nobody likes a plate on a beautiful face of a Mustang this was the first modification I did to Sally when I got her and it just transformed the look she looks so much cleaner like this if you guys want the ability to show your license plate whenever you want go make sure you check out speed forms drop down frame holder it will be able to pop it down underneath your car as well as up whenever you want so you have the uh, ability to do that so make sure you go check it out so when i first got sally i really wanted to put a body kit on her but body kits are so expensive and plus you have to paint them which makes them even more expensive i wanted to change the look of my front buffer dramatically and i wanted a cheap way to do that luckily i found chin spoiler chin spoilers change the look of your car very much and i love them so much because they're so easy and they are cheap Personally, I have the CDC Classic Chin Spoiler on here. I want you guys to also go check out the CDC Splitter Upgrade as well as the CDC Aggressive Chin Spoiler. Other companies are very good at this, like MMD, go check out their Chin Spoiler, it does look nice. And Speedform's Chin Spoiler, they are all popular in the Mustangs. Just choose which one will look best for your car. Another thing that I highly recommend when grabbing yourself a Chin Spoiler is to get it unpainted. One, because it's cheaper that way, and two, you could just see how bad I scratch my chin spoiler. I'm not sure if you guys could see that, but I'm always scraping down on the streets. Imagine if this was painted, this would completely be destroyed. The unpainted chin spoilers look good on any type of Mustang. Hey! Shut up. The next thing we're gonna do is get rid of this ugly stock 14 inch antenna and replace it with an eight inch antenna. It definitely sleeks down the car and makes it look a whole lot better. Another option for this is just to do an antenna delete. It will mess with your radio, but a simple fix is an auxiliary cord. Who listens to the radio anymore? So that definitely is a must do for your car. So this next modification has to deal with any type of car and that is tinting your windows. There are so many benefits from tinting your windows like privacy, keeping the sun out, and just making your car look so much better. Right now I have the 20% tint on my Sally which looks great. I really enjoy them. They look sleek and for us Mustang owners, we only have to tint two windows, so it is cheaper for us. For me, it was only $40, unlike other cars where they have to tint four or more and could get up to $80 to $150, depending on where you go. So tint your windows for sure. There are other accessories that you could tint on your car to make it a whole lot better, and that is your blinker lights, your headlights, your fog lights, your side markers, which I have not done yet, but you guys pointed out, and that will be my next modification, and your tail lights. All right, now let's talk about one of my favorite modifications, and I know which is one of your favorite mods as well, and that is lowering your car. Personally, I have the SR Performance lowering springs an inch and a half on the front and the back. One and a half inch lowering was perfect for me 
mean, that is also the most popular lowering if you get the spring option. I like the one and a half. It definitely changes the ride and it's not too low for me because as mentioned, I do scrape on my chin spoiler and underneath my car. The other options to lower your car are springs, coilovers, and if you have the money, go for airbags. The reason why I went with springs is because that is the cheapest option and I don't have money for coilovers or the airlift suspension. Lowering your car brings a better stance and drivability, so you do get a lot of benefits from this. A first modification that everybody does to their car is an upgrade in wheels. Upgrading wheels is really subjective because there are literally thousands of different wheels out there and it's really up to you to choose the right one for you. Personally, I have the American Muscle bullet style rims. I wanted to keep the classic retro muscle car look with this pattern and it just looks great with my car. I really wish I would have gone with the deep dish bullet style rims. They look a lot better, but I was not thinking when I was purchasing my new wheels. But I am thinking about getting some 18 by 10s in the back deep dish. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments if that would be a good setup for me. I'm also thinking about slapping some Mickey Thompson's on those. Also down in the comments, tell me what you guys are rocking on your Mustangs if you already have wheels and tell us how sick they look so we can all learn from each other. I do have some recommendations for you guys to check out because these wheels are very popular in the Mustang community and that is the bullet style rims, AMR, Rovos, RTR, and MMD. Go check those out and tell me what you think down in the comments. Also, if you guys do not have the money to grab yourself a new pair of wheels because they are very expensive and I totally understand that, Classy Dip is a wonderful way to get a different look on your wheels. Personally, I did this. I had the full black with the glossifier on top of it. I'll post a picture right now to show you guys exactly what it looks. It is nice, but I do not recommend having it for a long time because Plasti Dip just does not look good. So Plasti Dip is a wonderful filler to uh, fill up the time before you get your new wheels. For this next modification, you already know what's going on in the background, and that is the iconic sequential turn light signals. They are the best, because you have the tri bar with the Mustang, and just to see it go on sequential is so amazing. If you guys have the stock headlights and you want to get these sequentials, you could get the Raxium plug and play sequential kit. It is definitely amazing when you first turn it on, or you could just upgrade your taillights like I did. I have the uh, Vector taillights from Raxium, and it has the sequentials built into them. So grabbing yourself these tail lights will be amazing. I get a lot of compliments on them when people are behind me and they see the tri bar going on. So definitely get yourself a pair of sequentials. One of the best things to see coming out the booty of any type of Mustangs are beautiful four inch chrome exhaust tips. They definitely change the look of your rear dramatically. I love seeing exhaust tips coming out of Mustangs. I have the Borla S-Type Stingers and they just look so well with the car. They are way better than the stock exhaust tips. They're so small and puny and plus the sound is nowhere to be seen. If you guys are new to Mustangs and want to know which exhaust system will be best for your car, I will put a link in the top right of the video right now. Go check that out to see which exhaust will be best for you. Plus, updating your exhaust is a first mod to do on your car so you may go check that out as well and your car does not look good until it sounds good i can't believe i forgot one of the most fun modifications to do to your car while i was recording on my other place but have no worries i'm gonna continue it here in my usual spot so lastly the modification i really want you guys to look at are louvers and scoops starting off with the louvers you guys already know the quarter window louver by mmd looks so great i don't know what it is it just makes your mustang look so angry and mean i love it this is definitely one of the most popular you see all over Mustangs and I highly recommend it to not plastic dip it because I plastic dipped it and it just didn't uh, go well with the car so uh, paint it the color of your car and you'll be rocking and rolling to go with the uh, quarter window louvers I also have my rear window louvers it's not for everybody um, for me I really like these because it sure does uh, bring character to my car but that's really optional moving on to the scoops I have the uh, speed form scoop I'm not sure if you could see it entirely that's a better view for you but um, of course this is not real it's just a uh, attachment on top of it and uh, it looks really nice I want you guys to check out Speedform as well as MMD side scoops they sure do look good moving on to the front for the hood scoops I have the uh, iconic GT uh, scoop right here but I also want you guys to check out the uh, hood vents which could also go on top of their hood and uh, that basically does it for the full scoops and louvers to on your Mustang so those are all of the first mods you should get for your car from here on out is really up to you all Mustangs are different and that is the awesome part about these beautiful cars you could do so much with them but those are the necessities we have the lowering springs the chin spoiler the tinting your wheels your exhaust all
all that good stuff. Now it's all up to you to make your dream come true. I hope this video was a help to you modifying your car. If you did like it, make sure you slam that like button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure to contact me down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Go check out my channel for more awesome, cool Mustang content. And while you're at that, subscribe and share it to as many people as you want. And as always, have yourself a wonderful day.